Hello friends, welcome back. Today we're going to be doing a JavaScript exercise called Stand in Line. In computer science, a queue is an abstract data structure where items are kept in order. New items can be added to the back of the queue and old items are taken off from the front of the queue. Write a function next in line which takes an array and a number, uh, takes an array which is thought of as R. So we're saying write next in line, next in line, which, which takes an array, A-R-R, A-R-R, and a number, an item right here. Add the number to the end of the array. Then remove the first element of the array. Okay, so what we want to do is say we want to push the item onto the array and then we want to shift the first element of the array. And the next in line function should then return the element that was removed. This is actually great practice for understanding implicit return values. Okay, so the first thing that we want to do is add the number to the end of the array. Now the number is the item. So what we're going to do is the array is passed in. We're going array dot push, and then we're item. Now what does that mean? That means that, let's say it was here. It was one, two, three, four, five, six was the array, and the item was six. What we're doing is we're saying we're going to make the array one, two, three, four, five, six. And then we want to return the first value that we take off. So I think we could actually just go array.shift and that would pass, return the values. Okay, great. Now you might be thinking to yourself like, what's really going on here? This is really confusing. So let's jump into Node. Um, you should have Node installed on your terminal. So I just pressed uh, Command Spacebar and I went to the, my terminal. And then I open this up. Uh, inside my terminal, I have a program called Node, which makes it so that I can run JavaScript in the um, function. So let's say we have an array that's equal to uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, right? Let's say we go through this. Let's step through this function in order. So if this is our array, the first thing that we're going to do, let's say this is our array and our item is equal to 5 item array okay so the first thing that we're doing is array dot push item arr dot push and then in here we're going to say item five now the return value is five because when you do push you just return the value of the what you pushed in but the array has been modified now you'll see it's one two three four five instead of four so what we've done is we've added the item the number to the array list and now the next thing that we're doing here is called shift. Now this is the part that I think, this is the implicit return that's a bit tricky. So if I go arr dot shift, you're gonna see two things. First off, there's going to be a return value which pops up when we run the function. One, okay, cool. So the one on this array is coming from there here. So we're returning one to here, which means we're taking the first element and returning it in here as the implicit return. Um, now, if we look at array, you'll see it's two, three, four, five. So this shift value has actually mutated the array. And that's, that's the, the beauty of this lesson, is that you're learning to use implicit returns and you're still modifying the array. And so this is a great function that can be reused whenever somebody's jumping in line, you know, you can um, have the array and the item be like that. Um, anyways, you run the tests and this passes. I hope that that uh, explanation um, was a little bit uh, more useful for you and we'll see you in the next lesson. Thanks for watching.